Hey guys, today I have a foundation review and demo on the new Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. Brush looks like this. There's something wrong with this brush. It does it just doesn't work. It applies very streaky. Therefore, I need to buff more to eliminate the eliminate. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Basically, the product just keeps getting soaked up in this brush. I don't I think it's just like too dense. So the brush that I ended up using is this guy. It's the it cosmetics brush. I love it. So in comparison, the size of these two brushes are very similar, the uh, Real Technique buffing brush. It just doesn't get the job done. I don't like it. I'm sorry. This side is supposed to go like close to your under eyes. You can get here. It's not pointy enough and thin enough to get in there. You know what I'm saying? Another issue is that it's so hard. Like, it feels like you're poking yourself with a stick that's flat. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed. This guy. Oh, shake well. I think I sh I think I did that. Yeah, I did. It's an okay match. I think this is a very uh, neutral color, but leans more on the pinkier side. Suck up the product. And then you push. The more drops you use, the more coverage you get. It is very thin in consistency. Um, feels like water, rainforest of the sea. It goes on liquid, but it ends up feeling kind of like powdery. It's like liquid to powder. Gives you a natural finish. Leaning more on the satin side, it's less glowy, but it still has a little bit of luminosity, like a little bit, like a little bit. Don't you worry. So the smell of this foundation, um, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't have any fragrances. Like it doesn't smell like the sea. Actually, it just smells like foundation. Boring. Usually in foundations that I wear, I get very oily in my T-zone. But, surprisingly, I wasn't oily at all. Like my T-zone looked the same as the rest of my face. The good thing is that you can control the amount of coverage you want. If you want less coverage, you'll maybe use 3 to 4 drops. If you want more, you'll use up to 8, 10, 15, I don't know. So this is buildable to I'm trying to be flawless today. Also capable of being, you know, I'm trying to look natural uh, that's probably nobody. When I add my contour blush, highlights, and whatever else, it applies nicely. It doesn't go on patchy. It's very smooth. You know when you wear makeup all day, especially your foundation, by the end of the day, you want to take that off. You know, you're just like, ah. it didn't feel like anything. I like it. It felt like Rainforest of the sea. What is this thing like? How do you do it? I don't know. It controlled my oils so I didn't feel greasy. It didn't feel heavy, and that's what I really like about this foundation. And I would recommend this for all skin types probably. It did cling on to dry patches, you dry girls out there. Watch out. My nose area is red because I'm picking it 24-7. I'm definitely looking cakey, but that's my own fault because I put a lot on. The more you use, the more cakey it's going to look. I'm not oily at all. So next time I can just control how many drops I use. No big deal. Uh, I did add highlighter here, so it's not oils, it's the glow. This is quickly becoming my favorite everyday makeup because I can't feel it like I can't feel it one thing that I need to note is that when you apply with the sponge it actually provided better coverage than application with the brush that it came with as usually a sponge provides a more sheer and natural application but no this brush soaks up everything 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 oh, 
So that's not my friend. You're probably going to need another foundation brush. The Tarte one is definitely darker and more on the peachy pink side. And IT Cosmetics is more a yellow based shade. Actually, that's kind of a significant difference. I prefer this shade much better than this one. So, the brush sucks. This is bomb. I hope you found this helpful.